Hey everybody, uh, this is Mr. Mathlog. Uh, this lesson is solving surface area problems. So uh, here's our common core strand for our grooviest uh, math teachers. And our, our question is, how can we find the surface area of a figure made up of all sorts of other things? Okay, cubes and prisms. All right. So here, uh, the surface area, you guys, remember, anything with area, it ends in square units. So here it looks like millimeters, so square millimeters or millimeters squared. Okay, so if we could cut this dude in down right here right here right here and then this guy right there and if we could cut it down it would look something like this okay so so the front is 15 by 20 so that's what this is 15 by 20 okay the sides are 8 by 20 so 8 by 20 for the two sides okay the front and back are the same and the bases you guys are 8 by 15 the top and bottom are 8 by 15 so if we wanted to find um, uh, the lateral area the lateral area of a prism is the area of all the faces except the two bases okay so I'll assume because a rectangular prism you can have um, uh, either the left and right side be in the base or the bottom and the top or the front piece and the back piece being the base but typically when you see it like this we're going to do the top and bottom I'm sorry the top and bottom being the base okay alright so we'll exclude the top and bottom uh, of the bases right here so the lateral area of all the faces except uh, the bases is going to be um, the left and right okay plus the front and back right there okay so so here I'm gonna I'm gonna focus on the left and right okay so the left and right are 8 times 20 can you see that rectangle right here and there's another one over here okay and that's why there's two of them so it's going to be 2 times 8 times 20 so 8 times 2 is 16 so 8 times 20 is 160 so there's two of them okay and then we're going to do um, uh, since we're not using the bottom and the top because those are our bases we're going to do the front and the back okay so the front are 15 by 20 okay that's this piece okay 15 by 20 and then see here's the back piece in the back right there so there's 15 to by 20 so 15 times 2 is 30 so 15 times 20 is 300 and since there's two of them we add those together okay and then and then so the total lateral area is the sum of those guys right there okay and so the area of each base okay now remember the bases we're we're thinking that the bases are 8 times 15 okay so here it is um, uh, 8 because it's this 8 right here times 15 8 times 4 uh, I'm sorry, 4 times 15 is 60, so 8 times 15 is 120, okay? So each base is 120, so the surface area of the prism is the sum of the lateral area and both bases. So don't forget, there's two bases of 120, so we have to add those together. So there's the total surface area. Whoops, I went too fast right there. Uh, 1,160, and remember, it's always square units, so in this case, square square millimeters now there's other ways to find uh, these uh, these answers here so one way is to this uh, use um, uh, that net answer to answer this question so how does the product of the perimeter of the base and the height compare to the lateral area okay so here's the perimeter of the base 8 plus 15 plus 8 plus 15 okay so what's that uh, 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 8 plus 15 is um, 23 so and then another 8 plus 15 so we get we get 46 something like that okay okay and then, so there's the perimeter and then we're gonna how does the product of the perimeter of the base and the height compare to the lateral area so we'll, we'll multiply 46 times 20 well 46 times 2 is 92 so 46 times 20 is 920 now remember we got 920 for the lateral area so how does that relate? Well, the lateral area can be also represented as the perimeter times the height right there. So how can we represent uh, um, the surface area? We'll call S in terms of the prism with P. So well, here's P right here, the perimeter. 
uh, the height and the base right there okay all right so remember the base we added twice the base right here so it was 920 plus twice these two B's right there okay so when we did that so the the whole surface area this is another way to find the total surface area the s equals ph plus 2b where p is the perimeter h is the height and b is the area of one of the bases okay so that's a nice easy way so given a prison's dimensions how can we use a formula to find a total surface area okay so here we go so the surface area of any prism you guys is uh, uh, where base uh, where um, uh, that has a base that has a perimeter of p a height of h and um, the area of b for the base is uh, surface area is ph plus 2b let's try that right here okay there's other ways to find the total area but uh, we're going to try it here okay so aaron is making a jewelry box of wood in the shape of this rectangular prism and the jewelry box will have a dimension shown so she plans to spray paint the entire exterior of the box how many square inches uh, does she have to paint okay now I'm just assuming that the bottom piece is the base okay so the base the perimeter is going to be 12 plus 15 plus 12 plus 15 so that's going to be our our P right there okay for pH okay so um, any pair of opposite faces can be the base so I'll choose that so the base the area of the base is going to be uh, 12 times 15 okay and then uh, which is 180 and then the perimeter you guys is going to be uh, like I was just talking about so 12 plus 15 plus 12 plus 15 or twice 12 uh, 2 times 12 plus 2 times 15 because it's 12 over here 12 over here 15 over here 15 over here so our P is going to be uh, the sum of those two products right there so we get 54 so remember the surface area right here is going to be uh, pH plus 2B so since the B is 180 and the P is uh, 54 so it's going to be P times H where the H is 6 plus 2 times uh, the base which is 180 so that's one, eight, one, one, one way we can do that so we get 684 uh, square inches or inches squared okay so Aaron will have to paint 684 square inches of wood always answer that in the context of the problem how can we express the formula for surface area of a rectangular prism in terms of length width and height okay so the surface area you guys is this here's another way you got for surface area there's one way you can do this find the perimeter of the base so it's going to be perimeter times the height plus the 2b another way is this you guys that it's the area of all these rectangles there's six rectangles so we can do uh, base times uh, height or length times width for the for the bottom down here and we got two of them there's a top okay and then we can do length times width for that rectangle and there's two of them there's a left and a righty okay and then um, uh, for the front and back we can do length times width or base times height and again there's two of them so uh, the front and the back so so we can do that uh, for surface area for rectangular prisms okay so here we go a brand of uncooked sp spaghetti comes in a box that is a rectangular prism with a length of nine inches width of two inches and height of an inch and a half so what's the surface area of the box so i'm going to do that formula right there twice length times width plus twice length times height and twice uh, width times height so there's twice uh, length times width twice length times height twice um, width times height so if we multiply all those we get 69 square inches okay easy enough okay so now let's use uh, uh, the surface area for pH plus 2b for all other figures um, uh, that are not uh, rectangular prisms this formula you guys only works for rectangular prisms if it's a triangular prism or um, I was doing with my integrated math 3 class today it was a hexagonal prism uh, we had a trapezoidal prism so it's totally different we have to use this formula pH plus 2b p is the perimeter of each base the height is the the, the length between the two um, uh, the two bases and then we add the area of the two bases okay all right here we go so finding uh, the area of composite figures so a composite solid is made up of two or more solid figures 
and to find the surface area of those uh, we can find the area of each figure and then we can subtract uh, any area that's not in the surface okay so here we go Daniel uh, he's building a birdhouse and it's shown here so what's the surface area of the birdhouse before the holes are drilled okay so now my I am three class I'd give you the radius of this and we take that out and we talk about the it's a it's a very complicated problem I don't want to do that yet so pretend like that hole's not here that's what this is talking about so we're gonna find the whole surface area of that okay so what we're gonna do is find the surface area on top first okay so let's do the top triangular prism okay it's a prism because the front piece and there's a back piece back here are triangles they're supposed to be congruent triangles and if they are then it's a prism okay and then so let's find the area of this front triangle so triangles are one half base which is that times height which is that right there okay so let's do that one half base times height and there's two of them so we multiply it by two so since there's two of them we just do base times height so it's going to be 30 times 8 or 240 that's the that's the front triangle and the back triangle so there's one up here and there's one in the back hidden back here all right so now let's do these two rectangles right here okay so so the two rectangles are 8 times 20 since there's two of them did I say 8 times 20 17 times 20 I'm sorry so 24 golly what's the matter with me so 17 times 24 does your teacher make lots of mistakes I do all the time my kids cast me all the time so and that's okay teachers make mistakes too okay 17 times 24 there's this one and this one so 17 times 24 times 2 gets me that okay now what we're going to do is find the area of um, uh, the bottom uh, piece is a rectangular prism we're going to find the area of all those pieces okay so 30 times 24 okay I'm sorry let's do uh, the bottom uh, we're going to find the lateral area of the bottom piece so 30 plus 24 plus 30 plus 24 that's why I get 2 times 30 and 2 times 24 this is going to give me the perimeter right here so we're going to go P H okay that's the lateral area okay we just got to make sure we're getting all those rectangles so we get 108 so pH is 108 times 18 so we get that okay and we're missing uh, the base right there so the base is 30 by 24 so we get that so the total surface area is the sum of all of those red guys right there so I get 3720 uh, square centimeters all right you guys oh, now now I'm telling my kids in class if you don't get that answer look to see what the correct answer is okay and if you're in my book um, uh, our book doesn't have the answers in the back of the book so your teacher has them somewhere I have them on my on my uh, textbook uh, PDF or whatever um, anyway so uh, find the correct answer or if you have a teacher's edition I always let my teacher's edition float out on top of uh, the center table and, and checking the answers is a huge tool so see what your answer is and make sure it matches the book's answer and if it doesn't then that's where you start to, to try to play match the answer game it's okay if you make a mistake and it's okay if your teacher makes a mistake Please don't get down on them. They're humans too, you guys. So if they don't get the correct answer, especially on these guys, you guys, please give them a break and just, you know, be polite and help them. Don't don't be, you know, unpolite and dog them and act like you're so much smarter than them. Like sometimes my kids act sometimes, and it just, uh, anyways, um, I make mistakes all the time. So if you're not matching that answer, just uh, just take care of business and be polite. All right, you guys. I hope that uh, hope that makes sense and take care.